What are you tying up? Double barrel popper. What? Double barrel popper. Double barrel popper. Double barrel popper. All right, so we're tying the surface seducer double barrel popper. This is size medium. We're gonna go ahead and put our hole in it using a drill bit and a Dremel tool, size 16th drill, uh, drill bit. We're gonna go with the standard surface seducer popper hook, size two. The thread we're using here is a 140 denier UTC. The color does not matter, um, whatever color you have. I, I like to put three coats or three layers of thread on there. Any super glue, just don't go overboard with the super glue. Just coat the, the thread real good. Um, you don't want to have too much on there because it'll just make a mess. Now, when you're putting this thing on, you want to be careful and make sure that you do this all in one smooth motion. Because whenever you stop, wherever you stop, that's where the popper is going to stay. So now let's get to painting it. First thing we're going to do is color the mouth. And we're using a lipstick red Copic marker R29. And we're actually not even, we're not going to paint it. We're going to color it with the brush tip. And we're not going to color the whole mouth. We're just coloring the actual concave portion of it. You can see there. Um, I usually do two, two coats of this just to get it really deep red. And um, as you can see there, it's really, really nice and red. So we'll move on to painting the body. And we're using the Copic airbrush system. Three different colors. We're using a bright orange, a fluorescent blue, and a chartreuse. We're going to start out with the orange uh, for the underbody. We're going to use the chisel side, put it in our gun here, and we're just going to go up and down here. We're not really going to go too far around the body as you can see there. We're, we just want the underbody bright orange. And I'm hitting the lower part of the body there a little bit darker, so it's got a little bit as it sits in the water, a little more flash to it, and you can see the fish can see the orange better. Now we're moving to the chartreuse, and I'm using the brush tip because the brush tip allows you to spray put more color over a surface with uh, less effort. Uh, I'm just trying to blend it here into the orange. I don't want to overlay the orange. I just want to blend up to it. And as you see there, we've got a really nice blend. Now I'm gonna paint the front of it, the lip that we didn't color red so that the whole thing is chartreuse. You can see there now all the white left over is now chartreuse. So now we'll move to the fluorescent blue, which is gonna be the top coat. And it's just going to be on top of the popper. We're going to use a um, fabric here called Tool. You can get it at any fabric store. Um, and we're going to use this to, to make a scale pattern on the top of the popper. Um, so we'll go ahead and load up our marker and get it ready. Again, we're going to use the chisel side. We don't want to put too much color out of the gun at once. So you want to wrap this stuff around real tight. You can see there that it's real tight. We'll be able to get a good scale pattern. As I'm painting this, I'm going up and down, and I'm moving the, the paint gun horizontally without rotating the popper. I don't want that blue to bleed on the sides. I just want it on the top. And now you can see I've got a perfect little scale pattern there, and it blends real good. It makes that chartreuse really pop. So now we're going to use some eyes. We're using the Surface Seducer Dragon Eyes and Volcanic, and the size is appropriate for the popper head. Now I'm not using any extra glue here. I'm just using the sticky portion of the eye because we're going to coat this with an epoxy. So you can see there I got both my eyes in. Now it's ready for epoxy. And I'm using a 30 minute epoxy. Bob Smith Industries. You can get this at any hobby store. It's a great epoxy. I do recommend a slow cure, um, at least a 30 minute epoxy. And I also recommend that once you get these coated, you can you let them sit on the drying wheel for at least 24 hours. And here you can see I'm just using a, a cheap hobby brush to smooth this out on there. Now I'm not gonna put a real thick coat on here. I'm just coating the outer surface. I don't want any extra. Um, I will say to make sure that you make, that you feel the eye socket in so that it's all one even surface. Now let's paint it or coat it. We'll get it and put it on the drying wheel and get ready to tie this thing. So now we've got it all coated. All right, let's get it tying.
miles aside from my soul Aside from my soul. Ah, ah, ah. 